Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Just One Abby's YouTube channel. My name is Ebony. You know, I, I like to come out with a little song, a little rap, a little something sometimes. Just, just to show you guys. I can get out of the box and just show you guys, okay? <laughs> it may not sound that great, but I'm working on it, okay? I'm working on it. But anyway, <laughs> hi, you guys. My name is Ebony from Just One Airbnb's YouTube channel. If this is your first time, go ahead, come right on in. You are part of the family, you guys. But to really, really be a part of the Just One Every crew, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload, as well as give me a thumbs up for this video. I appreciate it. And stay tuned, if especially, especially if you like What's All videos. We're going to do a little What's All video, but it's going to be a little different. Because usually I have a Poshmark What's All video, a Thread Up What's All video, or I haven't even done a Thread Up What's All video. So you have some Thread Up in here. This will be my first time having some Thread Up of What's Old officially. So after the 15 days, yeah, that's going to be in here too. As well as Makari. So I'm going to do all three um, and see how that goes. Okay, so stay tuned so you can guys can know. What's sold for me on all three platforms um, from November 22nd, no, from October 22nd um, until November 12th. So I'll share that with you guys today. So I appreciate you guys for subscribing, for liking, and for watching. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So we're going to get right into it. You know, I got my phone with me so we can keep track of what sold on these platforms. My sales, yeah, my sales for Poshmark have been down a little bit. And I know it's because of me. I have not been sharing enough. I have not been doing that enough. Life has hit us. It has like, for real, life has hit us like you know, like some of you guys know that, um, and some of you guys may not know, um, in June, my husband had a kidney transplant. So things sometimes can go up and down as far as like hospital visits, things that come up, you know, things happen. So we're dealing with life. We're dealing with working full time. Like I'm working full time, you guys, like full time and doing this part time. So life happens, you guys. So I'm here to tell you, you do not stop. You keep it going. You keep it moving. You, you know, jump over all those hurdles and you keep being positive, you guys, because life happens. It's, it's 2020. So life is happening. <laughs> it is happening. Yeah. A lot's going on. A lot of things that are unexpected. You know, that is life. So. If you want to have a reselling business, if you want to work full time, whatever it is, if you want to do your reselling business full time, you can do it. Just keep your eyes on the prize. Stay focused, you guys, because sometimes life does happen. But what matters is you getting back in the right spot and keep on going. So we're going to get back in that right spot and keep going. So you will see that some of my <laughs> myself did go down a little bit. I, I just really. I don't know. I've been busy, um, you know, a lot of changes and, you know, at work, um, like then some of it just might be just being lazy, just not sharing as much. Like I used to share two to three times a week, you guys. I mean, not two, two to three times a week. No, two to three times a day is what I used to share. Now you like, we'll be lucky if I share once. I used to share at least at the nine o'clock party. I used to share in the morning and um, on my lunch break. But the more and more items I get up, I'm like, oh, this tedious task of sharing, it becomes a lot. So I think that's really key um, to why my sales aren't where I want them to be. So I'm trying to list more items on my closet. I'm trying to share more, uh, continue to do my closet clear out methods, just trying to do a little bit more in order to generate some more sales in my Poshmark closet. So you guys believe me you are not alone if you feel like okay my sales aren't what they were or what i want them to be you know you're not alone things happen you guys so what the what the point of the matter is for you to jump back on it and keep on pushing and keep on going you guys but anyway enough of that <laughs> 
let's get on to so it. My first sale on October 22nd, it was on Poshmark. So I'm going to go through all of the Poshmark sales. Then I'll go through, I think, the Macari sales and then thread up or vice versa. Either way, you're going to get it all right here, you guys. So October 22nd, it was a sale for these Juicy Couture uh, Charter. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> Try it again. It was for these Juicy Couture Chatter Logo uh, sneakers. So these sneakers I have had for a while, maybe since like last Christmas. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to get rid of those. And so we sold them for $30. I believe I paid $9 for them. So we sold them for $30. And um, $6. <laughs> we sold them for $30. $6 was the Poshmark fee. So I got a total of $24 as my earnings. And we got five stars. And if you are new here, all my, you know, just one every crew, they already know. We love five stars. We love customer service here on my channel. That is what we focus on. We're like 100%. We want customer service to be A1, you guys. Because why? That's what keeps the people coming back. Okay. <laughs> so we love customer service just because it's a part of business to be courteous, to be, you know, just there for your customers. And whenever they feel that and they see that and all the way down to the package and receiving it, it puts off great energy and allows them to want to come back to your closet if they need something else. And that's what you want. Oh. Yeah. That was the sale on October 22nd. So we had a sale on November 2nd um, on Poshmark and it was for this plug black jogger pants and um, I think it was an offer that was sent to me for $15 and $3 is the Poshmark fee and my earnings was $12. That item I believe was $4 I paid because this was included in uh, one of the hauls that I got from Stay Haul. So I'll link that video down below. So in that video, um, I got a whole lot of items from one person, went through them, um, listed items that, you know, we liked, donated items that we didn't, and kept on and moving, you guys. So just remember, share your story. Share that you're a reseller. Sometimes you will never know who wants to either give you items or even, you know, you can purchase items from them. But yeah, so remember that. It's always a good idea to share your story because if people know, like, they're like, oh, I don't feel like having a garage sale. Go ahead and take these items or I don't feel like <laughs> selling these things myself. Go ahead and, you know, give me $100 and you can have all of these items. So it just depends on what it is. Sometimes people will give you things. Sometimes people will want to sell you those things. But at least it'll be a way for you to get a bulk of items. And, you know, if they're good items, you know, it could be a mystery deal or you could go in there like saying, I want to see exactly what you have and then be able to purchase them. You just never know who you will run into who wants to get rid of some items or have some good stuff, you guys. So and then for that item, we did get five stars, you guys. So five stars, which we appreciate and we love. And then on November 4th, we had this mix number six. Um, these It's gold star black velvet booties. I don't even want to... I think it's Azorta, something like that, Azorta. But these actually um, sold in a offer. I offered a discount um, for the items. Um, and so 30 I bought these at Burlington's for $5, you guys. And this was around the time when everything kind of opened back up with the pandemic and everything um, going on. Everything kind of opened back up. And I went to Burlington's and got these shoes in for $5. So I sold them for $39, you guys. $7.80 was the Poshmark fee. I gave a discounted shipping of $2.12. So the earnings was $29.08. And we got five stars for them, you guys. Five stars, baby. <laughs> this item that sold was on November 12th on Poshmark. And I think that's the last item for Poshmark. So November 12th, and we saw it was these painter style jeans. I've had in my closet for ever. It seems like basically over a year um, that I've had in my closet. And they were my husband's. He didn't like them anymore. Wasn't wearing them. So we sold them. Someone um, sent me an offer for $15. We gladly accepted that offer. So they sold for $15. $3 was the Poshmark fee. And $12 was the earnings. And we got five songs. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's move on to the red up, you guys. So, thread up, these were my first ever sales on thread up because, as you guys, some of you know, I just started thread up. Yeah. When did I start? Well, this is how you say you say start, just started thread up in August. But, you know, my August, I sent in boxes, and you guys know from my video um, that I'll link down below one of my thread up videos. I sent boxes in August that did not get processed to November, but surprisingly, luckily, they got processed in November because they actually had a date that said it was going to process in December, and I really wanted those items to get out before Christmas time, but luckily, I was surprised and shocked that they got processed in November, so yeah. So that was my first experience with the first boxes, but the boxes that actually, um, for the items that sold, um, that I'm going to show you guys today, actually were boxes that I sent after that August time frame, but I got hip to the fact that you can send expedited processing. So after that, then on, I always did expedited processing for my boxes. Now, we know that ThreadUp has a lot going on right now, um, you know, and... I have done a video about all of the changes that they have going on, which I will link down below. And, of course, the video itself has a lot of my opinion. But, you know, it talks about the main thing of why I was upset about the changes was just the time frame. That's all. Everything else, I mean, everybody has their opinions on what's going on and, you know, what should happen, what shouldn't happen. And I have my opinions too. But at the end of the day, we understand it's a platform that we have no say over at all. It's just, I thought, given a 30-day notice, like what they said they were supposed to do, yeah, that, that would have been nice. But anyway, we, yeah, we, we're not here for that. We move on. But it seems like everybody had their, you know, comments and, you know, things to say about ThreadUp at this point. Um, I have not sent my, like myself, I have not sent them anything else um, since, you know, they still have like three, ba three bags to process, I believe, for me. Yeah, they still have three. So I have not sent them anything else because I'm just seeing how this goes and see where we go from here. So let's just get into what sold on ThreadUp. So October 29th. Um, was when the sale finally processed because, of course, you know, once an item sells, it goes in transit to get to them, uh, to the customer, and then finally we see delivered and on whatever date, you know, that you can expect payout because they have up to 15 or 14 days return window. So, yeah, so that's what makes it such a long time before I can actually tell you guys what actually sold because of that. You'll see this first item here that sold is this Free People Long Sleeve Top. I actually sold this. Um, I bought this from shopgoodwill.com. It was in a lot of new tag items that I received. And I'll link that video down below as far as talking about shopgoodwill.com. It's not going to be um, with this Free People Top in it, but it will be a basically telling you about shopgoodwill.com and um, showing you some of the pieces that I got from there. I shop a lot with shopgoodwill.com and that's because if you, you know, have not been on my channel, you should know that I do not like thrifting. I hate thrifting. I don't like individual thrifting. I know, like, what sense does it make? Like, you really, you're a reseller, but you hate thrifting? Yes, I thrift sometimes when I have to. But for the most part, I don't really care for thrifting. I don't like the going in and getting one piece at a time and looking through all of that. Don't like that. So I like the fact that shopgoodwill.com, I kind of can see the gist of what's in the lot and kind of just bid at once and get all these items at once and process them. I love that idea. So um, most of my items, a lot of the items that I sent in this box, um, you know, we're from shopgoogle.com. So this free people top, I actually paid $10.11 for it. Um, so basically, I took everything in this lot and I divided the price up by each individual item of how much I paid. And it was $10.11 for this item. The free people top is sold. I had it listed for $91.99. But I guess someone had a coupon that they were able to use um, from ThreadUp or a promo code. And so it went down to $86.48 is what it sold for. So the payout was 52.2%, which left me at $47.74. And I was happy with that because I only paid $10.11 for 
that top. So I made some money off of it, which was good. And then the next item that sold was on ThreadUp was basically this. <laughs> this was the second time it sold, and that's why I just got paid out like quicker, you know, because it sold the second time. So the first time it sold, it got returned. And on ThreadUp, if something gets returned, then if it sells a second time, then basically they pay you, um, you know, for it. So I got, you know, lucky there that it actually it got returned, but then it sold again. Maybe, you know, once it was returned, I think it sold within like a week. So this, it was a Calvin Klein performance vest and it sold for $62.99. The payout was 37.8%, which left me at $23.82 payout. And again, this item was in the same lot as um, as the Free People, so it was $10 I paid for it. So I did make profit off of it, which is the key. I want to make something off of it. I don't, you know, and I would love to always make at least $10 off of something. So I was happy with that. We're good. It was all good, you guys. I was happy with that. So those were my first two official sales on ThreadUp. Um, so yeah, with ThreadUp, y'all, it's been a journey, but it is what it is. Okay, and then let's get to last but not least, Makari. Okay, so you guys, like Makari has been dormant for me for a while, and that's because I have not been feeding Makari. So I started feeding it. So what y'all mean? What what do you what are you know? You want to know what I mean by feeding Makari? So how I feed Makari is I promote. So I go through some listings, I promote them, which is basically lowering the price. And then I start listing some more items because I don't have everything listed on Makari. So I started listing some more items that I didn't have listed there. So that starts to feed into it. So to get you back active, showing some activity on the platform. Um, what sold November 4th was this Tommy Bahama uh, olive green sneakers and I got these from Marshalls and I believe I bought them for like $12 so this one I think someone sent me an offer they actually messaged me said the lowest I would take um, and I said I would take $28 for them I think I had them listed for 30 something I forgot exactly how much I had them listed for but I accepted $28 for them and I did pay for shipping cost um, so $24 was what I made off of those and the shipping, I believe it was like $5 for shipping. It was five something. So I did make some money off of them. Not much, but I did make something off of them, which is great. And then I sold this Calvin Klein on November 5th, this Calvin Klein Essentials uh, Tucker jacket. This jacket I actually bought for $15. I think $15.99. And it was a Ross um, buy. It was when I did my Ross haul. Uh, it was like three over $300 spent, which I'll link that video down below. But in that Ross haul, I bought this Calvin Klein uh, jacket, this jean jacket, and it had Calvin Klein written on the back. Real cute. And so it was $38. I sold it for, and after fees, $32.80 was what I made. Because, of course, I don't know if you guys know, but now Macari has started to charge a processing fee for transactions. So because of that, you'll see a sell selling fee of the 10%, but you'll also see a processing fee like for payment processing. So I guess all of these platforms, you guys, like... It's not just thread up, it's Macari too. Like they're all making changes. They're all trying to do things that benefit them, which is to be expected because they are, you know, it's a platform that you use in order to sell and they want to make money. So yeah, they started charging processing fees. So on this one, the processing fee was a dollar and forty cents, where before that processing fee would not be there. But as of November, I believe they started charging a processing fee. So it was a dollar and forty cents. So $32.80 was what I made, and I was happy with that because I paid $15 for it. Um, I did have to ship it off of pay for shipping, and that shipping charge was, I believe it was like $6 for shipping, which wasn't bad, um, but yeah, but, you know, I made something off of it, so I'm happy with that. And the other one, um, the Tommy Bahama, the processing fee was $1.11 because I didn't tell you that. Processing fee was $1.11 and the $2.80 was the selling fee. So, yeah. Um, 
I don't know how I feel. They're always charging, you know, charging. If they have to charge a fee, it is what it is. I'm using the platform in order to make money off of it. So they're understanding that and they're wanting to make their money as well. So it's understandable that that that's what has to happen. If you're going to use their platform, they're trying to make some money. And if you're going to continue to use it, then you're going to pay like a little, you know, little fee for processing. So yeah, so that was all of my sales, you guys. So I appreciate you guys for watching, for staying tuned and seeing what items were sold. Um, just remember when life happens and life hits you and you have like many things going on and you're like, what am I supposed to do? I'm falling short on here. You know, I'm, I'm getting behind. What you do is keep going. You push through because believe me, <laughs> life does happen. But you have to continue on because there's no way that you can stop. Like you have to continue on. There's you have no choice. You have to keep going, you guys, because you could do it. And if I could do it, you can do it. So stay encouraged, you guys. And I appreciate you guys for watching, for subscribing, and liking my videos. Remember to give me a thumbs up and push that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Just when it be. I'm out. <laughs>